الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد from the path in the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ مجمعین is gentleness as first and foremost this comes from the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and is the sunnah to Allah subhanahu it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sunnah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves gentleness he loves compassion he is the most compassionate he is the most forgiving he is gafurul wudud he is the 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 most loving and he's the most beneficent and the most merciful. These are attributes, divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and earth, and the one who possesses those divine and beautiful attributes that are kamil, that are perfect. And he does not share those attributes with his creation, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And amongst the characteristics that it is an obligation upon someone who follows the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to possess is this type of rahmah and mercy and gentleness, rithq wa lean. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-kaf, subhanahu wa ta'ala, qala ta'ala, وَرَبَّكُ الْغَفُورُ ذُو رَحْمَةِ لَوْ يُؤَخْذُهُمْ بِمَا كَسَبُوا لَعَجَّلَ لَهُمْ الْعَذَابِ بَلْ لَهُمْ مَوْعِدٌ لَنْ يَجِدُوا مِنْ دُونِهِ مَوْبِلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Kaf, verse 58, Tabaraka wa ta'ala, He says, Subhana, And your Lord is most forgiving, the owner of mercy, were he to call them to account for what they have earned, then surely he would have hastened their punishment. But they have their appointed time beyond which they will find no escape. That verse is beautiful. That verse illustrates for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and gentle towards his creation. And that for us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should illustrate and exhibit that quality. And we have to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our for forgiveness for our shortcomings in this. Because I know myself of the many shortcomings that I have and that I can be stern and I can be harsh sometimes with the people. But rather we have to seek forgiveness and strive to possess this characteristic of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. That we need this characteristic that the Lord of the, the, the creator of the heavens and earth, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala has the divine, complete, uh, he is our rafiq subhanahu wa ta'ala. He possesses this. Sheikh Abdul Razak uh, al Badr Hafidullah ta'ala, he mentioned, he said, Fabayna subhanahu annahu lo. يؤخذ الناس بما كسبوا من الظنوب كالكفر والمعاصي لا عجل لهم العذاب لشناعة ما يرتقبون يرتقبونه ولكنه حليم رفيق لا يعجل بالعقوبة بل يمهل واليهمل الله سبحانه وتعالى is so gentle and so merciful and kind and compassionate subhanahu wa ta'ala and he possesses these divine characteristics and in this verse he makes it clear for us that if he were to uh, punish the people for what they have earned and, and look at this Bima kesabu for what they have earned. This is what the people have earned. So it wouldn't even be unjust for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to punish us. And when we think about our sins, I, I can think about myself, the many sins we commit day and night, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were to punish us for what we are deserving of punishment, we could say nothing. It would still be from his justice. But on top of that, he is a rafiq He's the most compassionate. And he is the most gentle. And he is the most loving. Gafuru wudud. And he is the most forgiving. Tawab. And he is, you know, the one who accepts repentance. And he 
subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and these are from his beautiful characteristics is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his perfection and his infinite grace and mercy subhana that he is gentle with us even though we commit sins and mistakes day in and day out and the Shaykh mentioned min dhunubi kal kufri wal ma'asi and he said from the sins like disbelief because we uh, sometimes people uh, not just those people who are completely disbelievers but sometimes the believer can fall into a sin of disbelief and not make him him or her a disbeliever but yet they have fallen into possibly the minor disbelief or even the major disbelief and they could have made toba from it or they could have been unaware and this is something we have to be cautious from and the ma'asi and the sins so of course that if a person does the major kufr it will take them out of the fold of Islam and we've mentioned on uh, countless times about the conditions for takfir so that is not something we need to get into here nor is, are those judgments uh, for us to make and going back to the verse and what the shaykh said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his gentleness that he although he has the right to punish us he still is not quick in his punishment and is not severe but rather he is all wise and he is subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, so compassionate to, with us and that he is not stern and quick in his punishment but rather he subhanahu wa ta'ala is gentle and merciful with us and when we are deserving of his punishment subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the attribute our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses this attribute and we as his creation his creation that we can possess the characteristic of lean of rifq of being gentle and compassion but our compassion is not like Allah's compassion and our gentleness is not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's gentleness and our love is not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love and our mercy is not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy he's the most merciful his is absolute his is there's nothing comparable to him and uh, nothing resembles him subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says all throughout the Quran laysa kamithlihi shay fa huwa sami'un basir wa huwa sami'un basir that there is nothing that resembles him and on top of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for himself wa huwa sami'un basir that he is the all seeing the all hearing so Allah possesses those characteristics but they're unlike our characteristics ours are limited limited our visibility is limited Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything our knowledge is little and our compassion is nothing compared to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want to exhibit this characteristic Imam Bukhari said in his Kitab Adab Mufrid قال حدثنا غداني أحمد ابن عبيد الله قال حدثنا كثير ابن أبي كثير قال حدثنا ثابت عن أنس عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا يكون الخرق في شيء إلا شأنه وإن الله رفيق يحب رفق. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith حسنه بعد أهل العلم that was narrated uh, by Anas رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that there isn't a thing that is uh, done either with violence or shidda or sternness and harshness <clears throat> that except that it will increase it will increase in it meaning it will increase increase in that sternness and harshness that's the result if you put in something if you're stern and you're harsh then that's you're going to be your reaction وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ رَفِيقٌ And verily, Allah is the most compassionate or is, 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 is all compassionate and He loves rifq 
وَيُحِبُّ الرِّفْتِ And he loves gentleness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of the benefits that the ulama bring about from this, uh, this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is that this hadith shows us that it affirms for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, possesses the characteristic of muhabba, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, that this is one of His divine characteristics, a divine characteristic of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another at, uh, a benefit we gain from this hadith is the high status that gentleness plays in the beautiful and righteous mannerisms of a Muslim. Another benefit we gain from this hadith is the permissibility of referring to Allah the Almighty as al rafiq or Rafiqin and other than that from amongst the names or attributes that are mentioned by Khabar Wahid meaning that these attributes were narrated by a single individual and that we accept that that this person was a person of thiqa, a sahabi or what have you that their khabr can be taken in aqidah our belief as well as our mu'amalat as well as our deeds so this affirms for us that these na divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come from ahadith, some that are mutu mutuwatir, and some that are, you know, uh, as long as they're an authentic hadith, then they're accepted by Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and increase us in gentleness and compassion and loving, lovingness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins and our shortcomings and protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.